Welcome again to my YouTube channel. In this video today, I'm talking to you about the challenges of the ice block business in Nigeria. The challenges of the ice block business in Nigeria. Welcome back to my channel, where I share tips and insights to help entrepreneurs in Nigeria succeed. In today's video, we'll be discussing the challenges of ice block business in Nigeria. The ice block business in Nigeria is a lucrative venture that generates a steady income for entrepreneurs. However, like every other business in Nigeria, there are several challenges that ice block business owners face. In this video, we'll be highlighting some of those challenges and how you can overcome them. Challenge number one is power supply. One of the major challenges of the ice block business in Nigeria is power supply. The, inner, the frequent power outages can cause your ice blocks to melt, leading to a loss of revenue. To overcome this challenge, you may need to invest in alternative sources of power, such as generators or solar panels. Number two challenge of ice block business in Nigeria is transportation. In this, uh, talking about transportation, ice blocks need to be transported in insulated containers to prevent them from melting. This can be difficult, especially if you have to transport the ice block over long distances. To overcome these challenges, you may need to invest in a reliable transportation system that can transport your ice blocks without any hustle. Now, you may be looking at it that how do we get money to buy um, vehicles to do this transportation business? Open a business account. Have a business name. Register a business name if you don't want to register a company because of the cost. I can help you to register a business name if you come through this channel. I will help you to register a business name for 18,000 Naira only. You open an account using that business name with a bank, with a commercial bank. Every um, income that comes to your iceberg business, you deposit it there and you withdraw. You deposit there into that account, you withdraw. You deposit into that account, you withdraw. After six months, you can approach the bank to give you a loan. And then they give you a loan and they can use the loan to upgrade your business and get the vehicles and other things that you need. Number three um, challenge of ice block business in Nigeria is storage facilities. Ice blocks need to be stored in a cool place to prevent them from melting. The lack of proper storage facilities can lead to a loss of revenue. To overcome these challenges, you may need to invest in a proper storage facility, such as a cold room or a refrigerated truck. What I do personally on this business is that I have an ice block machine that produces ice block, not fridge, not freezer, ice block machine. The machine is specifically for ice block. When the ice block are, are ready for harvest and there is no buyer, I will put off the machine, harvest all the ice blocks and put them in another in a deep freezer. So the ice block can be a deep freezer even if they take light. If there's no power supply, the deep freezer will still retain the ice block for three days once you don't open the deep freezer intermittently. So this is another way to overcome this challenge. And again, if you are looking at that you don't have capital to buy the deep freezer, already you have your ice block machine and the business is running, you can open, you can um, register a business name and then open an account in a bank with that business name and then run it for six months very well and then put in money, money come out, put in money, money comes out. After six months, you can put the bank and they will give you a loan to get what you need to get and then you pay back the loan. If you want me to register a business name for you, you can let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to charge you just 18,000 because you are coming through this YouTube channel. Normally, I charge 25,000 or at the, at the least 20,000. But for you coming, if you say you are coming through this channel, I'm going to do it for you at 18,000 Naira only. So number four challenge of iceberg business is competition. The iceberg business in Nigeria is a competitive one. There are several other entrepreneurs who are also in the business, making it difficult to stand out. To overcome this challenge, you may need to differentiate your business by offering unique services such as home delivery or discount on bulk orders. Now, apart from this, you can also open a shop in town where people can uh, order for the ice block or where you can be taking the ice block so that somewhere that is close to a market or close to a busy place. So you may be putting your ice block far away from the town or uh, far away from the market or far away from the open place, but you have to have a place in town where, and you have to advertise properly in town, be boards and other things that to show that you sell ice block. Now, another challenge of ice block is the mechanical fault that it develops after some time. 
every machine have an a, expiry date or have a, a, a lifespan. But most people want to use any machine they have forever. Adblock business is going to be difficult if you have that kind of mind. The machine, Adblock machine is a machine and it can develop fault at any time. So you have to prepare for that. After you use it for some time and it's giving you some fault, when you repair it, I advise you to sell it out. Sell the problem out and get another one and then you can enjoy that one before it starts developing problem again. In conclusion, the Adblock business in Nigeria can be a profitable venture but it comes with its own set of challenges by investing in alternative sources of power, reliably, reliable transmission system, proper storage facilities and differentiating your business from the competition and also taking care of your machine and when your machine starts giving you fault, you sell it out. If you do all this, you can overcome these challenges and build a successful ice block business in Nigeria. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips and insights. So I'm going to come your way again and talk to you about the challenges facing cashew export business in Nigeria. As you come to the conclusion of this uh, video at this time, the uh, first one to drop is phone number in the comment section and tell me the name of the network. Maybe you drop your phone number and it is MTN. You also indicate MTN or you indicate Airtel. If you don't do that, I'm not going to contact you to do that. So you have to do it correctly. You have to put your phone number and you have to tell me what network that you are using. If you do that, the first person that gets that correctly, that does that correctly in the comment section, I'm going to send a recharge card or data to the individual so that the individual can use to make calls and to be able to have data for other things. I'm going to talk to you again some other time. Bye for now.